Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be working on this Craftsman chainsaw. It has an 18 inch bar and a 42 cc engine, and it won't start. And the reason it won't is because the fuel line inside is broken off and it can't get fuel to the carburetor. So, we're going to be doing a fuel line repair today. First step you want to do, if you haven't done so already, is get a container and dump out any old fuel that might be in the tank. Next step is we're going to remove these screws. There's one here two, three, and then take the cover off. And once you've broken the screws loose, go ahead and remove your cover. Then remove the air filter. The next step is to remove these two 5 16 or 8 millimeter nuts, and we'll remove the air filter housing. And then pull the air filter housing back. And this is attached, this is part of the throttle linkage. Or you can see here, that goes underneath the air filter housing. So when you go to put that back together, just remember that it slots in here. And you want to see how it's kind of looped around. Can you see that line? And it's a good idea to take pictures if you're doing it. You can see how the linkage comes up and wraps around and goes back up to the carburetor itself. Next step is taking the two lines off, the fuel line and the vent line. There's one right here, and the other line is back here. Get a flathead screwdriver, maybe just a little bit of WD-40 to help break it loose. Or remove those lines. Next, go ahead and pull your carburetor back and off. And you can access the uh, fuel line now, and you don't have to disconnect the uh, linkage from the carburetor. Done that, you've got complete access down to the fuel line. Just grab yourself a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it out. So you can go online and probably get a fuel repair line kit, but what I did is went down to the hardware store and got like a foot of the new line. And what I like to do is take a utility knife or a pair of scissors and just kind of splice one end, like I did here. Pick that up. That way when you start putting it down into the hole, it goes in easier. And then you have something to grab with your uh, pliers or whatever you're going to use to pull the rest of the line in. Just have some patience because this is probably the difficult part of this uh, whole task is getting that fuel line down into that hole and then pulling it through. Once you can get a hold of it, you know, it goes smoothly. It's just feeding it down through that hole. What I like to do is, if the old line is still good, I like to stretch out the old line and compare it to the new line. That'll kind of give you an idea of how much slack you need on the top. So we can put that into the carburetor. Once we do that, you want to have, make sure you have enough line on this side that the uh, fuel filter gets down to the bottom on the other side of the saw. And then we'll clip this part off off here reattach the fuel filter and then we'll reverse the process and we'll be good to go. Okay, now we can go ahead and slip the carburetor back on, attach the fuel line, attach the primer bulb line, and the last little hurdle to complete this is reattaching the throttle linkage into the air filter housing. What you have to do is you kind of have to pull up a little bit, twist the air filter housing, and then slip it in there. You got to get the black plastic part back behind this right here so that you can slip the wire in and then push the black all the way over and then it's seated down like that and then you can tuck it back under and reattach the air filter housing. Reattach the two bolts, the air filter, and then the cover. Fill it up with gas, we'll, give, we'll fire it up. Always the fun part, to see if it starts. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. As always, hopefully you learned something from this video. Comment below, subscribe if you'd like. Thanks again for watching. See you next time from the Neighborhood Go-To Guy.